Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers. The question is, find the dimensions of the rectangular box without top of maximum capacity with surface area 432 square meter. Now, let's construct a small rectangular box and the rectangular box is open at the top. The box, rectangle box is without top. So, let's complete the diagram. We have a rectangular box now. And in the top, we don't have the side. So, this is open. This top region. Now, let's take the length as x, breadth as y and height as z. Now, in the question, they are asking the dimension. That is, we have to find the values of x, y and z. And they say maximum capacity and with surface area 432 square meters. So, maximum capacity indicates the volume. So, the volume is x, y, z. And surface area, which is nothing but, there is a bottom area, it's a rectangle which is x, y. Since there is no top, we don't put one more xy. But at the same time, when we see the left side of the box, we have this rectangle yz, but we have similar to that on the right side also. So it is 2yz. In the same way, front and back, it is zx, but it is 2 times. Because it is open at the top, we have only 1xy. And they say surface area is 432. So this is 432. This is like a constraint. So we will write this as xy plus 2yz plus 2zx minus 432 equal to 0. Now we have to write the auxiliary function capital F and this capital F will be in terms of x, y, z and lambda that will be basically f of x comma y comma z and the constraint is lambda times of g of x comma y comma z. So now this capital F is nothing but f of x y z which is volume. The capacity they say it's maximum so x y z plus lambda into x y plus 2 y z plus 2zx minus 432 bracket close. Now we have to find the partial differentiation with respect to x. So y is it is constant. Then here lambda, since it is, it is with respect to x, y is constant. So y plus and both are constant. So 0. Here the constant is 2z. Then x differentiation is 1. And bracket close. And as per the condition, we have to equate this to 0. The same way, f y, the first term is x z plus lambda into x plus 2 z because y differentiation is 1 and the last term is purely constant, so it's 0. Bracket close. And as per the condition, we have to equate this to 0. Then partial differentiation with respect to z, the first term is x y plus lambda into x y both are constant then 2 y z differentiation will be 2 y and 2 z x differentiation is 2 x and we have to equate this to 0. Now let's take from the first equation y z to the other side. So now lambda into y plus 2 z equal to minus y z. If I divide, it will be minus y z by y plus 2 z. But if I take the reciprocal, it is easier to divide individually. And let's keep this minus sign on the other side. So minus lambda. Now minus 1 by lambda will be taking reciprocal y plus 2 z by y z. So this will be minus 1 by lambda is by dividing individually we get 1 by z plus 
2 by y. In the same way, from the second equation, if I take lambda into x plus 2z equal to minus xz, so let's keep the minus sign here. So minus lambda equal to xz by x plus 2z. Then taking reciprocal minus 1 by lambda equal to x plus 2z by xz. So finally minus 1 by lambda equal to dividing individually 1 by z plus 2 by x. In the same way from the third equation we can take lambda into 2y plus 2x equal to lambda into 2x plus 2y equal to minus xy. Then when we divide we get this minus lambda we will keep it because the minus sign we keep it on this side. So minus lambda equal to xy by 2x plus 2y by taking reciprocal minus 1 by lambda equal to 2x plus 2y by xy. Now dividing individually we get minus 1 by lambda equal to 2 by y plus 2 by x. Now we have three equations. Let's take this as first and this as second and this as third. Now all the three are minus 1 by lambda. So let's equate first and second. So equating 1 and 2. So from 1 minus 1 by lambda is 1 by z plus 2 by y. So 1 by z plus 2 by y equal to from second it is 1 by z plus 2 by x. 1 by z plus 2 by x. So we can cancel 1 by z on both the sides. Then 2 on both the sides by taking reciprocal we get y equal to x. In the same way let's equate second and third. Even first and third anything is fine. So now I am going to equate second and third. So from the second equation we have 1 by z plus 2 by x equal to third equation is 2 by y plus 2 by x. 2 by y plus 2 by x. So 2 by x we can cancel. From the remaining if I cross multiply 2z equal to y or z equal to y by 2. Now combining both the results that is y is equal to x and z is equal to y by 2 we get x equal to y but this y is equal to 2z. So equal to 2z. We got a result. Now we have to substitute this in the surface area. The surface area is 432. So first term is xy. So for xy I have to put x into instead of y we can put x itself because y and x are equal. Then plus 2 into second term is y is z. So y is z, y is x and z is y by 2 but y is x again so we can say it is x by 2. So everything I am substituting in terms of x. Then the third term from here is 2zx. So we see 2z itself y but y is what x and there is one more x because zx, z only actually 2z, 2z only y but y is x and there is another x. Finally this is equal to 432. So we can cancel this. So x square, x square, x square. So totally 3x square equal to 432. So x square is equal to, we have to divide 432 by 3. We get 144. Breaking square root, since it is a length, we take only positive value. And the unit is given as square meter. 
So now it is 12 meter. Since x and y are equal, y is also 12 meter. And z value, already we have an expression here. z is y by 2. So half of the 12 is 6 meter. Therefore, according to the question, given the dimensions of the rectangular box, so the dimensions are length equal to 12 meter, then breadth equal to 12 meter, then height equal to 6 meter.